the silver hen, and the village of good deeds, once upon a time, in a peaceful village nestled between rolling hills and flowing rivers, there lived a kind-hearted young girl named Lena. She was known throughout the village for her generosity and her love of helping others. Lena lived with her grandmother in a simple cottage at the edge of the village. Though they didn't have much, their hearts were full of warmth, and they shared whatever little they had with their neighbors. Each day, Lena tended to the small garden outside their cottage, growing vegetables to eat and to share with those who needed it. She and her grandmother lived happily, content with the simple joys of life, caring for the garden, sharing stories by the fire, and always helping their friends and neighbors. One chilly morning, as Lena was working in the garden, she noticed a strange rustling in the bushes nearby. Curious, she set down her basket and went to investigate. To her surprise, Nestled in the tall grass was a beautiful silver hen. Its feathers shimmered like moonlight, and its eyes twinkled with kindness. The hen looked tired and lost. Oh, you poor thing, Lena said gently, crouching down to pick up the hen. You must be cold and hungry. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. Lena carried the silver hen inside the cottage and made a cozy nest for her near the fireplace. She gave the hen some crumbs of bread and water, and soon the hen settled in, looking more comfortable. You can stay with us as long as you need, Lena said, stroking the hen's soft feathers. We'll take good care of you. The next morning, when Lena woke up, she was astonished to find something glowing near the fireplace. When she looked closer, she saw that the silver hen had laid an egg, a silver egg. Lena could hardly believe her eyes. She rushed to show the egg to her grandmother. Look, grandmother. The hen laid a silver egg. Isn't it amazing? Her grandmother smiled warmly, but being the wise woman she was, she said, It is truly a wonderful gift, Lena. But remember, we should not be greedy. Let's only take what we need and always share with others, just as we always have. Lena agreed, and though the silver egg could have brought them great wealth, they decided to keep it safe, only using what they needed to buy food and firewood for the winter. The following day, the silver hen laid another egg, and the next day another. Soon, Lena and her grandmother had a small collection of silver eggs. They sold one at the village market and used the money to buy food and supplies, but they never took more than what they needed. As the days passed, news of the silver hen and her magical eggs spread throughout the village. Word eventually reached the ears of the greedy mayor. The mayor was a wealthy man, but no amount of riches was ever enough for him. When he heard about the silver hen, he became consumed with envy and decided that he must have the hen for himself. One afternoon, the mayor paid Lena a visit. He arrived at the cottage with a fake smile plastered on his face. Lena, my dear, he said, I have heard of your wonderful silver hen. It seems unfair that only you and your grandmother benefit from such a magical creature. Wouldn't it be better if you gave the hen to me so that the whole village could prosper? Lena, wise beyond her years, saw through the mayor's false kindness. She shook her head politely. I'm sorry, sir, the silver hen came to us when she needed help. She lays silver eggs, but we take only what we need. The rest is hers to keep. I don't think the hen would be happy anywhere else. The mayor's smile faded, replaced by a sneer. He left the cottage furious that Lena had refused to give him the hen. But he wasn't ready to give up. That night, under the cover of darkness, the mayor crept back to the cottage, determined to steal the hen while Lena and her grandmother slept. As the mayor reached out to grab the silver hen from her nest by the fireplace, something incredible happened. The silver hen fluttered her wings, and a bright, blinding light filled the room. The mayor stumbled backward, shielding his eyes. The hen's gentle voice rang out, filling the room with its calm but powerful tone. Greed will never lead to happiness. Only kindness and good deeds bring true fortune. The mayor, now trembling with fear and guilt, fled the cottage, his heart heavy with shame. He realized that his greed had blinded him to the true riches of life, kindness, love, and generosity. The next morning, when Lena woke up, she found not only a silver egg, but also a golden egg lying next to the silver hen. Lena was amazed and rushed to tell her grandmother. Grandmother, look, 
The hen has laid a golden egg. Her grandmother smiled knowingly. The hen must be rewarding your kindness, Lena. You have cared for her and shared what you had with others. This golden egg is her way of saying thank you. From that day on, the silver hen continued to lay both silver and golden eggs. But something even more magical happened. Whenever Lena or her grandmother performed a good deed, whether it was helping a neighbor, sharing their food, or simply showing kindness, the hen would lay an extra golden egg. It was as if the hen could sense the goodness in their hearts and rewarded them for their selflessness. As the silver and golden eggs continued to appear, Lena and her grandmother didn't keep the wealth for themselves. They used the eggs to help the village. They bought food for the hungry, mended roofs for the poor, and even built a new school for the children. The village, once struggling and poor, became a place of joy and generosity where everyone shared what they had. The greedy mayor, seeing how much happier the village had become, learned from his mistakes. He apologized to Lena and her grandmother and began helping the villagers as well, realizing that true happiness came from giving, not taking. The silver hen remained a part of Lena and her grandmother's lives, continuing to lay her magical eggs as long as the village continued to practice kindness and generosity. And so Lena, her grandmother, and the entire village lived happily ever after, always remembering that the greatest treasure of all was the kindness they shared with one another.